Hey guys, so uh, it's time here to do a quick little speed test comparison between the new iPhone 6S uh, and the Galaxy S6 Edge, which uh, is my beloved uh, trinket here. Uh, but can the uh, Apple iPhone uh, match it in terms of the performance and the camera? We can find out. Oh, so you can see uh, the iPhone does boot up faster here, and and uh, who would have thought it? You know, uh, there was a time when uh, like the iPhone was behind Samsung in terms of the speed, and that was just an accepted fact. But now it's all changed. Uh, but maybe the uh, Exynos 8 series will change that when it comes out. Uh, you can see we don't have any used apps here uh, in the background and everything is up to date as well in terms of the software so uh, we can just start off here opening up some apps uh, seeing how they open so music here on the left uh, we do have as well some other things WhatsApp, a bit quicker here on the left, Viber, oh the right has come back so the S6 takes a point, uh, Facebook, quicker here on the left, uh, what about the uh, clock? Again, slightly quicker here on the left, and we do have Geek, quicker here on the right, but then again this had to load some uh, page there. Uh, we do also have Twitch, so that was about the same I think, the kind of like cover screen covered, it, it did load behind though. Uh, hot or not, quicker here on the right. So the S6 Edge isn't going down without a fight, you can see it's still very uh, fast here. Twitter, maybe a qu little bit quicker on the right there, hard to call. Uh, camera, go quicker here, I did see that on the left. Wow, this is back and forth. Dialer. So about the same there. Uh, I think uh, I do have a few games here as well. Uh, FIFA. FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. And it seems to load quicker here on the left. So you can see, very nice uh, performance here, and uh, Modern Combat 5. Three weeks ago, the World Liberation Army launched a cyber attack on several Asian networks. Do you think I've been living under a rock? Every world leader is here for the emergency summit on cyber security. Every what world... does it... So you can see the iPhone led the charge there as well. And again, wow, you can see the iPhone is the top dog when it comes to the uh, opening here. Too long for the edge. Uh, so, wow, very nice performance here from the iPhone. Probably going to uh, give it uh, the app opening there uh, just about. You know, the edge did well in some of them. Uh, we can just see the... Uh, kind of web browsing here, we're using some websites, TechCrunch, 
go. So that was, uh, I think the edge looked a little bit quicker there at the first start. And the iPhone loaded the link a little bit quicker though. Uh, we do also have BBC. BBC News. Quicker to load the load there. Wow, that was probably the iPhone only just though. Can you see again? New York Times. Go. Again. You can see the iPhone loaded that quicker and the page load quicker again. So I think I'm going to have to give it again to the iPhone. Wow, look at this. This is very nice speeds. Uh, what about opening up a new tab? Uh, so, boom. So you can see the, uh, I think the new tab opens up a little bit quicker here on the left. But I'm going to move on now to the uh, multitasking capability. Music. So clearly the uh, iPhone there. Viber. Geek. So iPhone is curb stomping the S6 Edge here. You know it's true. Look at that. Not a single reload. I am very impressed. So you saw the iPhone needed was another gig of RAM, you know, to really unlock its potential here and uh, you can see it seems to be winning on pretty much all of them what about some games FIFA you can see straight back in there Whereas we do get a reload on the uh, edge. And uh, which other one have we got? Uprising. Whoa. Go. Again, straight back in there. So you can see the RAM management seems to be epic on the uh, the new iPhone. Someone was asking me, you know, how is the RAM management? You can see it right here. You know, it's dominating. Straight back in there. That is awesome. Uh, so, you know, you don't need like a gigabyte, well, well 10 gigabytes of RAM to uh, really uh, do good multitasking. You just need some software, it seems. Uh, so, uh, you know, again, here we did do a speed test and it seems the iPhone did dominate. And, uh, you know, I'm not an iPhone fanboy here, but props where props are due. You know, you can't uh, take it away here. Uh, that Apple has done very well to give a good performance boost for this uh, iPhone here. 
and uh, I think that's what a lot of people you know were put off from the iPhone you know historically it wasn't uh, quite as powerful as Samsung's offerings but now they seem to be catching up I think that it's going to tempt a lot of people uh, to the iPhone platform uh, well, I did do a camera test here you can see the results uh, the camera obviously on the edge similar to the Note 5 and uh, pretty much uh, awesome really uh, in terms of everyday kind of shooting uh, I did notice that on one or two of the pictures on the edge though the indoor colours kind of like uh, went weird like yellow uh, like uh, quite randomly uh, it wasn't uh, too apparent like uh, all the time but now and again I think it was this picture yes uh, so you can see uh, basically I just left it in auto took this shot and then left but the colour on the uh, iPhone is much more realistic uh, to like you know uh, what it was it was like a white colour but for some reason it just went, came out orange on the edge but usually you know it's a very reliable kind of shooter here and uh, I've never had uh, huge issues with the kind of uh, shots that it does take uh, obviously you do get the widescreen format as well which I do enjoy on Samsung handsets uh, but you can have a look at the pictures here yourself so you can uh, see that uh, you know what what's what with them uh, and I have talked about before you know the camera app on the, uh, the Samsung device as well as the LG device are much more in depth when it comes to like your shutter speed and all that uh, but it's where the iPhone's strength is just taking the shot and forgetting about it I think uh, you know you're gonna get that reliability there pretty much every time so but in terms of the outdoor quality very comparable really I didn't see too much of a difference uh, really the low light quality maybe uh, the iPhone looked a little bit clearer uh, but then again you know very uh, comparable on both of them so uh, you can now have a look at the uh, video recording on them to see the 4k quality One pretty thing uh, that I have noticed as well with uh, a lot of the iPhone shots that you do take when you're out and about is the live functionality where like it gives you kind of like a uh, like a mini video kind of thing of what's happening right at that time when you take the shot uh, you can see as I'm moving them here basically you can see the people walking I think that's a pretty nice uh, feature here uh, that uh, Samsung could do well to emulate shall we say but in terms of the video recording uh, both very comparable here again the S6 Edge seems to be able to focus a little bit more uh, than the iPhone uh, so a little bit of improvement could be had there but wow you know I'm just so impressed here with the iPhone success in terms of the raw performance of that uh, A9 chip uh, I will be doing some benchmark videos so do stay tuned for that so you can see the raw kind of uh, performance against some flagship uh, Android phones uh, so uh, yeah just a quick little video here and if you did enjoy please uh, leave a like and I will see you in the next one cheers